In a small, secluded town, nestled deep in the woods, lived Sarah, an introverted young woman who rarely received any correspondence. One evening, as she returned home from her solitary walk, she noticed a weathered envelope sitting on her doorstep. Intrigued and somewhat uneasy, she cautiously picked it up and found her name scrawled on it in shaky handwriting. With trembling hands, she tore it open, and her heart skipped a beat as she read the chilling message within. Sarah, I know what you did. You can't hide forever. Fear consumed her, and she retreated to her dimly lit living room, desperately trying to unravel the cryptic message. As she sat there, paralyzed by the weight of her own guilt, she had never told a soul about her dark secret. How could someone know? Determined to uncover the truth, Sarah ventured outside, only to find the once quiet town now filled with lurking shadows and a haunting silence. Every house she passed had the same sinister envelope waiting on their doorsteps. Panic gripped her as she realized she was not alone in her torment. With trembling legs, Sarah reached the town's library, hoping to find answers amidst its ancient tomes. But to her horror, she discovered the library was eerily abandoned, its shelves barren except for one single, dusty book. She opened it and it contained a detailed account of her deepest secrets, her most private thoughts, and her darkest actions, written in the same handwriting from the letter. As she frantically turned the pages, Sarah's sanity began to crumble. The town, the letter, the book, they were all part of a twisted game orchestrated by an unknown force that reveled in her suffering. She was trapped in a web of her own making, haunted by her past, and there was no escape. The world around her faded to black, leaving only the sound of her own horrified screams echoing into the void. Sarah, who had tragically lost her life in a road accident a week ago, found herself trapped in a relentless loop, forced to relive her final dream, an unending nightmare that became her personal hell.